Alrighty, this is not an April Fool's joke in any format whatsoever. Nothing I'm saying in this video is to do with April Fool's. I promise you that's why this video came out later in the day. Um, but I really wanted to come out here and just have a quick discussion with anyone that is watching my video still or paying attention to the news that I'm sharing. Um, as always, we will share our true feelings about Wonderland. And again, we do strongly believe Wonderland will not be opening uh, mid-May anymore. It's virtually impossible, especially with the one week, uh, one month lockdown that the government just announced today. Wonderland workers full-time and training-wise cannot return to work now until May. Um, so it's, it's going to be virtually impossible. It's, it's literally impossible. Uh, we do strongly believe, again, our own personal opinions, we have to put this in there, uh, that uh, Wonderland is aiming for a mid-June opening, but personally, we do strongly believe Wonderland will open uh, around July. Whether that's early July, mid-July, or late July, I think July is a very realistic month to aim for, um, but I just really wanted to come out here and start focusing on the positive. We've been reading our DMs on Instagram a lot, and truthfully, um, I suffer from anxiety and depression, and lately I have not been feeling well at all. And I'm really glad I have a really good friend group that I can talk to and vent to, um, and that I've dealt with this for a really long time, so I know what to do to get myself into a better mindset. I know how to fix it um, to some sort of extent, and I just wanted to come out here um, and help anyone that may need to hear this. Uh, we've been reading our DMs, and truthfully, it is really upsetting, and it honestly makes me really sad seeing uh, younger people suffering with some of the same stuff. I even remember as a kid, way back in the day when Wonderland was rumored to be moving um, to Hamilton or Niagara Falls, and I remember crying and I remember being so upset. So I can only imagine, you know, as uh, my younger audience and younger viewers, you know, going a whole year without Wonderland, then going through the winter as a Canadian and Ontarian, you get those winter depression and you're not allowed to do things that you're normally allowed to do as a kid, you're not allowed to hang out. So I totally get it. Um, and it, it truly does hurt knowing that there are people out there that are afraid that the park won't open this summer. And I just want you to know that right now is the time to focus on the positive. We're almost through this. Again, I promise you nothing in this video that I'm saying to you right now is a lie. I'm not trying to say things to you to make you feel better. Everything that I'm saying is truly my opinion and my belief, and I do strongly uh, believe it'll happen. I'm not sitting here trying to just make you feel better. Um, at the end of the day, I am trying to make you feel better, but it's a realistic, like, trust me, we're gonna get through this. You're gonna get to Wonderland this year. I promise you, even worst case scenario, which it won't happen, I promise you. I promise you that it will not happen, but you will get to experience Halloween Haunt and Winterfest at a worst case scenario if we do lose all of our summer, but we're almost there. Vaccines are already rolling out. Um, they're starting to roll it faster. A lot of the older generations are turning down the ability to get the vaccine. Um, so they're moving to a younger generation and we're almost there. We just need to work together. Stay positive, listen to your favorite song, go for a night walk, go out for walks. I'm someone that needs to get out and get more physical activity after this over a year lockdown. Trust me, I'm focusing on that too because I have been in a very terrible mindset in the last couple weeks. As you've noticed, I haven't uploaded any videos. Um, but thankfully I have a really good friend group that has kept me grounded to the point where I can at least, you know, go about my day as normally as possible. Um, and I'm just starting to get out of it. Um, this happens occasionally. We're all people and we all go through rough patches and we all think negatively. And the best thing we can do for each other and ourselves is think positively. And right now with us being so close to the end of this is the time to think positively. You will get to experience Wonderland this year. You will get to experience Halloween Haunt and you will get to experience Winterfest. <laughs> I promise you, you're gonna have a good end of the summer and you're gonna have a good fall and we're gonna have a good winter this year because you know what? We had a really crummy um, past year. Things have not been going well, but you know what? We're all going through this together. We're all experiencing a very similar situation. Some of us are experiencing it a little harder than others. Some of us are experiencing it a little easier, but at the end of the day, we're all experiencing what is happening right now together. And at the end of this dark tunnel, there is light. And for the first time ever, I am extremely optimistic that we're gonna have somewhat of a summer. Um, it may still include masks. And when I say that, I mean it will still include masks but you will be on some sort of an attraction ride 
Winterfest or Halloween Haunt event this year, you will be able to eat theme park food, smell Wonderland, see those geese chasing those random guests that over pestered them, and just hearing the music blaring. And it's just, it's just gonna be so good. And honestly, I'm so excited to just have a different outlook on the park. Those rides that we thought were horrible, and I still think are horrible, are not gonna be horrible this year. I'm gonna ride Flight Deck, I'm gonna ride Time Warp if they're open, I'm gonna ride anything that I hated and I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna enjoy it. And I'm just gonna focus on the positive. When I'm in that park vlogging this year, it's all gonna be positive, no more negative. I don't care if the park, you know, stumbles and falls or screws up just like any business and any person this year, I'm not gonna focus on it because this year, everyone deserves positivity and we need to focus on the positive moving forward whether that's what's wonderland going to build in 2022 what's wonderland going to build in 2023 we're going to focus on those as well we're going to focus on some like urban legends that the park has had some rumors that the park has had we have someone very special working on some videos for you guys right now on that so super excited for you guys to hear that i'm just going to focus on you know like the what ifs not the oh man the negatives you know so there are a lot of people, a lot of people that work at this park, four to 5,000 people that are looking forward to returning, looking forward to some sort of normality. There are so many millions of guests just looking forward to, you know, visit this park again in a very safe manner. Again, they had the safest plan I had ever seen business-wise in Ontario and Canada. So I'm super excited for them to showcase that. And uh, I really hope that at the end of the day, we just start focusing on the positive, myself included. You know, it's all just the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. Don't give up now. You know, you see those memes online or those 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 little things where the person's digging underground and they give up at the very last minute and they miss that diamond and the other person kept going and they hit that diamond. Don't be that person that turns around the last minute. Focus on, we're almost there. Almost there. Keep it together, guys. Let's all work on this together. Comment down below your favorite memory from 2019, what you're most forward, uh, looking forward to in 2021, um, and let's focus on the positive. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.